What's up everybody and welcome back to another review. Rowan from Radical Electric Bikes here and we are going to be checking out the Cycle Plus Air Inflator A2. It's an electric and automatic tire inflator that also doubles or I should say triples as a flashlight and a mobile power bank for your devices like your phone, Bluetooth speakers or anything that you need to charge um, during your trip uh, out during the day or if you're doing extended runs because uh, what this is course perfect for it's pretty self-explanatory it's an automatic pump and it's perfect as a backpack sort of stored item or you can mount it on your bicycle or e-bike because it comes with primary mounts just for putting on to one or of the two spots that you may have on your frame so um, without further ado let's just dive straight into unboxing this that's the style of our review that we'll be doing today um, it was sent very nicely uh, you're not seeing the packaging that it came with uh, I just cut it open just for saving a little bit of time. But it was very nice, it came completely undamaged, and it actually appeared to be fully charged, so kudos to them for doing that. But uh, just as usual with any other uh, electronic device that has a battery like this, you would want to fully charge it and uh, make sure you do that before your first use. So we've done that, uh, but otherwise I've put it back in the box, and from here it'll be just about exactly as you would be and doing it yourself. So let's just keep checking it out, let's undo the top. Now we have our first box that comes out here. This will be the container for, I believe it was the bag. And yeah, that's the gray soft bag that it comes with. Just keep everything lined up so you can see everything in a nice organized fashion. So there's the bag. Let's keep the boxes off the side for now and keep going. And here is the pump. Getting right there, it is wrapped in a bit of plastic just for some extra protection and the instruction manual, you can also see. Just try to keep everything lined up for you there. Let's keep the box off to the side for now. But let's just take the pump out of the Velcro. This is the bike mount, and it just goes into two screws and one rubber O-ring that will mount just to keep it in a little bit nicer. And there are a couple of strips, uh, grip strips, that you will be putting onto this yourself. Uh, just uses some epoxy and it stays on there quite nicely. Let's just keep moving on. And here, as you can see, that is how we how we look. It is unusually small. Um, when this came in the box, it looked like it would be quite bigger. But um, as you can see, it's a very nice size. Not even many water bottles are actually this small. Most of them are bigger. But as you can see, the hose comes out from the top and you would screw it in right there. I'm not sure if that's zooming in properly. There we go. So before we get into that, we'll actually do that during the pump with the uh, bike and an e-bike and also a car. We'll be testing this later with. So let's just keep all the parts on top of the bag for now. But this is fully charged, so we can go ahead and we can just turn it on by holding down the power button. And there it is. So you can see there's a very nice and clear readout. And it has multiple options. You can go KPA or PSI. I can just click the increase button and that is going to increase the pressure by pressing it just one at a time. So right now we're just at 39, it's staying there. So let's just imagine we put it onto the tire and I would just uh, press go and we're not gonna press inside right now and the house would be quite loud, but we will outside in just a few moments. But um, that's basically how it works. Um, you can use this also as the power bank as I was explaining before. Uh, there are your ports. Um, what I've noticed is that they're not protected. They don't have any little uh, rubber um, inserts that you would see on a lot of these types of devices. So uh, one thing when you're carrying this, you might want to cover it somehow just on the bottom. Uh, even just some like, little piece of tape would work, I guess. But uh, that's one thing that I did notice right away. So uh, just with that being said, that's just the one thing I've noticed about it so far. That was just kind of like, eh, that could have been, uh, I guess, added. But it's so sleek, it looks more like a Bluetooth speaker itself, so if you have a similar looking speaker, uh, maybe get a different speaker first so you can use this, because <laughs> it'd be funny if you grab the wrong one, or you can just grab both, because that'll be part of your day kit anyways. But uh, moving along, yeah, that's very minimal packaging that we have going on, and I almost uh, dropped that there. But uh, yeah, we have the rest of our parts, that's just going to be the charging cable, and all of our components for doing things like the uh, other valves. You can also do the basketballs or even has a balloon attachment which I think is pretty cool so it's a great uh, device to have around the house. Uh, if you you know have some kids and you have some birthdays coming up and um, you also have a hoop in the backyard right? I mean that's just perfect. I'm a baller myself and I gotta say that's a great feature. It's nice just having that around 
and uh, here's our converter. That's what you'll attach uh, depending on which type of valve uh, you'll have, Schrader or Presto. So, then there's two screws and the O-rings. That will be just for attaching to the bike. There's your screws and there's two O-rings. These, of course, are very small and this can happen to anybody. They can be very easy to lose. I'm not sure if you can even see them, but they're very small. Uh, yeah, they're just right there. So we're just gonna keep that in the plastic bag. Always do that with your small parts. Just, I know I was describing these to you, but I will always put these back into their uh, places where they belong, just because. So anyways, that's basically everything that comes with it. We're just gonna keep that out because we'll be attaching it later. But um, yeah, without further ado, I guess it's time to move on to actually using this. And we're gonna see how far we can go with just one charge. So without further ado, let's get ourselves outside and move on with this review. All right, everybody, we're outside. We've got our CycleQuest A2 air inflator and out in the cold. So it's our first day of snow. As you can see, it's February and uh, we were waiting for it. We knew it would come eventually. What we'll be doing is hooking it up to read the pressure first uh, by us installing the holes onto the um, valve and then it will read it. And you're about to see that done right now. So let's just open it up. You just take the hose out and put it right on top, screw it in very easily. Now remember when you're using this, uh, we might run into this when we're trying to pump up a car, is that uh, it can get very hot if it's working harder. So with this bike and the regular bike, yeah, it's not no issue really. But um, when we go and uh, use this with the car, we will uh, keep an eye out for that. So let's just move on and take off our cap. Now remember, we're waiting to turn this on. There we go. It took a second to get it attached. So we're going to hold down the power button and it is going to read the pressure. Now it's at 38.5 psi right now. Okay, so what I actually did was I just uh, stopped the recording and redid it again to see if it would reread it. And it's because the pressure just released a little and it actually just went down to 35.5 so uh, that might have been just because I tampered with it but uh, I just double check things to see if there's anything strange happening so the first readout was probably just fine I just was fiddling with it and it actually lost a little bit of air so that's no bad on this pump's part I was just double checking stuff so now we're just gonna go ahead and preset it to 41 psi which is the rating for this tire so we're just gonna press the increase button I'm not sure if you can see it very well uh, the display does light up very nicely, but uh, it does take a second. But then all you do is you press the power button, and it will pump it up. It's very loud. I'm sure you can hear my voice, but it shouldn't take too long. Oh, we're already up to 36 PSI. So about, oh yeah, this is pretty fast. 37. Thirty-eight. 39, 39. Like just topping it off. All right, we're almost at 41. Oh yeah, reading at 41.5. There, stopped at 41. Perfect. There we go. Just put it on a little bit too deeply there. Okay, so we're gonna move on to uh, using this on the car. Okay you guys, so we're at the car now. We've got a 215-65R16 type of tire. This is a pretty standard type that you'd be looking at if you have uh, you know, a medium size or even an SUV. And so we're just gonna hook it right up the same way that we did. Start step one, take off our cap. Okay, so we're just gonna turn the power on, holding on the power button again for a couple seconds. Now it should read out. Now this uh, rear tire, left rear, we're doing up to 29 PSI. We have a reading of 27.5. So again, we're just gonna increase it, or actually decrease it, because it's gonna be left at the last setting that you had it on. Just making that adjustment. And then we're just gonna press power. All right, 27.5. Now this is on the car, so with the bike tire you just saw, it was much shorter. But uh, yeah, this could take a few minutes. Uh, could be two, three minutes. We'll see how long it takes.
still going. It's a little bit warm, it's actually not that hot, but that was just after one use. So we're gonna move on and do a couple more tires, see how much further we can push this. But uh, it might get a little bit hotter and it recommended that after 10 minutes of use uh, to give it a break. So we'll see how far we can push it. Let's move on to the left front now. I love how easily it clamps on. That's one of the number one features of this that I love. It just, it goes on so nicely. Like some of these pumps are really snappy and they can just bite your fingers a bit, which is no big deal, but it's a nice feature. Just doing a double check here. This is a real review that you guys are watching here. Powering it back on, everything is tight. Okay, 20.5, so we've double checked, it is accurate. Now we're going to set the rating up to 30, where we would like it, and press power. Now this could take a little bit longer than last time. So I just replaced the battery quickly in the camera, because it just died out, but we got a new one in there, and we're just finishing it off, and there we go, right at the end, for 30 PSI on the front and uh, 29 on the rear. I'm wondering if the temperature has actually affected um, this performance of the pump at all, but we actually still have a bit of a charge left, and the one thing that we haven't done yet is just do this on a regular uh, road bike. Unit. We'll just go back inside, we're going to uninstall the valve clip here, and we're just going to take our Cycle Plus A2 air inflator and do up the bike. Okay, we're back inside, and now all we have to do for uh, filling up this tire is to attach our converter, our uh, Presta to, or sorry, Schrader to Presta converter, and that's to enable the A2 to fit properly and uh, get a nice seal so that we'll get an accurate reading before we turn the A2 on, just as we did before uh, with the other tires. It's a very simple process. I don't have to explain it again. You guys saw how nicely it worked. So let's just move on and take off our cap and get this A2 pump on. You just want to hear an affirmative hissing sound. Uh, just like that. I don't know if you could hear that on the GoPro, but I could hear it, so it was definitely affirmative. Just bring it all the way up to 100. I maybe could have gone backwards, it might have been a little bit faster. But uh, all right, so we're going up to 100 PSI. Here it is. Now, if you can read the battery readout or the pressure readout, it's very fast, it's going much faster. Oh, and it looks like the battery is almost completely depleted. Oh, will we make it? Oh, oh, 99 on the dot. It was trying to say 99.5. Oh, I just kind of moved it a bit. So yeah, we'll just say it's 99. So uh, I have to say, I am impressed with this. So you can see on the readout, we are all the way down. We've depleted the battery. It's intelligent, <clears throat> intelligent battery management system is protecting it. So it's able to show you this information without actually cutting into its guts. All right, so we've got our A2 and it is basically dead, but a little bit uh, is left, just enough to keep it alive. And we'll charge it up to just see exactly how long it does take. Um, it's advertised for two and a half, up to three hours, depending on how hard you've worked it. And we max this thing out. Um, this is a fully detailed review that we're doing today. So we already have our cord that uh, came with our accessories package plugged into the wall. We're just going to plug it into the bottom, oh, other side, and just when we do that, you'll see there's a red light. There we are, right there. And it will turn green in just about two and a half or three hours. So let's just leave it on the charger and we will come back uh, for when it is ready. Okay, so it's been about an hour and 34 minutes and we have an affirmative green light on our A2 air inflator, so it's good to go. Uh, very impressed with how long that took. That was nothing as advertised, which is a good thing to say. Uh, usually that's something we would not like when we say that, but it took, uh, yeah, roughly an, an hour less than it was supposed to, like two to three hours, roughly. Um, but uh, no complaints, uh, so good job, Cycle Plus. Um, now we can move on with just showing you how the, uh, the light feature works, the LED light, it's 80 lumens and also the power bank feature. So we do have uh, the, I think it was the unit button that we press. Uh, so we hold that down for the flashlight. So we hold that for about a second and there it is. You can see that's, that's a pretty good light. Um, here, we're just going to uh, quickly turn off the light and come back with another shot, just showing you how bright this really is. Aha, hey Red, what's up? All right, so as you can see with this 80 lumen flashlight, it makes everything pretty easy to see. Um, with this camera setting though, I didn't realize how dim it would sort of look on the GoPro, so 
in person, it's much brighter. Okay, so moving on to the portable power bank feature on the A2 air inflator. If we just turn it over to our left, you can see the same spot that was the micro USB for charging it. We're just going to do the opposite and flip it over with the same cable that came with it and charge up the speaker. Oops, wrong side there. And we're just keeping it on the side so you can see this process, which is pretty self-explanatory. But you just plug it into the micro USB port of this uh, speaker here. Or if you have a lightning cable uh, that also has that USB port that will connect, uh, then that will also work. That should turn on uh, once we press the pause of the button right here. This one you hold down just for a second and that'll turn red. There we are. For fully charging devices, the one thing you want to watch out with this is it stops charging after 60 minutes, which is just maybe an efficiency feature to focus more of its energy towards the pumping function, you know, like what it's made for doing. This is just a secondary feature. So I wouldn't recommend, you know, relying on this as your primary power bank, even though you, you sort of can. Um, if you're using it as your primary pump and maybe you say, have some friends that you're riding with and everyone pops their tires or something and you're that guy who has the air pump you know uh, you might just want to make sure that you don't use it too much and prioritize but again this is a great battery um, again it charged in like one and a half hours instead of three or four so um, awesome cycle plus that's one of those pleasant surprises that uh, we enjoy uh, here at radical electric bikes so then to power off the a2 air inflators portable power bank you just want to hold down the power button that would normally turn on the compressor and there it is, turned off, all done. You can just confirm on your device to make sure it's off. So again, using your phone, any mobile device on this will work like your speaker. And I'm pretty impressed with this. Uh, I love how you could use this for many runs. Uh, it has the capacity to do at least four regular bike tires um, while putting out enough power to probably use the power bank or use the flashlight a bit. And uh, I've been using this, testing it for about two to three weeks now. And I'm really impressed with it. I've charged it over a couple of times and it hasn't really changed in uh, how long it takes. Uh, still, yeah, impressed with how it only took one and a half hours that first time. It has not changed really. And um, to be honest, yeah, I'm really impressed with this. It's a good product. And one thing that I would also like to thank them for is for sending these two other hoses, um, just to show you what they offer for um, if you're just buying a whole package. It comes with one, of course, but uh, since they can overheat and if you use these a lot, of course, the parts that get bent and torqued around will wear out eventually. So you'll get two hoses, two of the valves, the straighter pressed valves, and it just comes in this plastic package like so, while uh, wrapped up in some uh, other cardboard packaging when you receive it in the mail. Okay, so that's lined up pretty nicely. Don't have to do it too tight. If you over tighten it, you might just cross a thread uh, and this just causes the unnecessary damage. So let's grab our adhesive strip that has the rubber top on the, the part there. And there's where we'll be picking off the back and putting it onto our holder. Oh yeah, not bad. It was actually just a little bit, nah, could do a little bit more off to the left, but the point is it's against the back. So as long as you're in the middle or over the screws, that's the primary you know, contact point between this side and then making here on the top when you tighten the Velcro. So let's just see how that fits. Yeah, I'd have to forcibly remove it like that. That's not gonna fall out as long as I tighten it a little bit more. But to be honest, I would just keep this in a backpack. This is an honest review that we're doing here. And as great as it does fit, okay, that was actually a lot nicer. <laughs> okay, I just didn't do it tight enough. If you can see it, it's just a little bit over uh, where it would meet with the plastic bracket. And uh, as long as you do that, it seems to be quite tight. Okay, so that wraps it up for the A2 air inflator. Uh, we pumped up a couple car tires. We did the e-bike tire, also the bicycle, and installed it uh, onto the frame, which, you know, it's it's nice, but I honestly would keep this in a backpack because this is a nice investment. I would not like it falling off of my bike uh, as to a water bottle where those are cheap and easy to replace. If you treat it well, it will treat you well back. Thank you for watching the review of the A2 air inflator by Radical Electric Bikes here. And if you want to learn and uh, get some more great content about some electric bikes and gear. We have plenty of reviews and guides on our blog and soon to be uh, opening in just about, yeah, right now, <laughs> uh, our store. It's RadicalElectricBikesStore.com and you can go there in the links below. I'll leave the links for the product as well and just uh, the A2 uh, air hoses. They were not including those hoses. They were separate. So I can give you a deal on those. Those will have
have a discount below as well uh, just by watching this video. So thank you again for watching. Make sure you click the subscribe and the bell notification bell so that you get every single video that comes in. We're going to be doing a lot more videos. So once again, Roland uh, from Radical Electric Bikes, thanking you for watching our review and see you in the next one. All right, we're almost at 41. Hi, uh, reading at 41.5. There, stopped at 41. Perfect.